Now, today's top stories and Power of Five weather from News 5, sponsored by Akron Children's Hospital. Hi everybody, I'm Rob Powers. Here's a look at today's top stories. We've just learned that seven COVID-19 cases have been linked to a recent weekend at Putin Bay. Those patients all visited the Lake Erie Island between June 17th and the 21st. Others who visited certain island establishments on those days are now being asked to watch for symptoms and self quarantine for the next 14 days. There are now 51,789 coronavirus cases in the state. More than 7,800 people have been hospitalized. 2,863 have died. Now that one day increase in cases, hospitalizations, ICU admissions and deaths are all higher than the 21 day average. Case Western Reserve's health education campus is no longer needed as a surge hospital. Cleveland Clinic converted the campus building into a hospital like facility in preparation for an uptick of patients with coronavirus. But the clinic says because of aggressive public health measures, it's just not needed anymore. Campus will transition back into use for students in time for the fall semester. Ohio Attorney General Dave Yost says General Motors should pay back the $60 million in tax credits it received after promising to keep its Lordstown assembly plant operating through 2028 and keep 3,700 jobs through 2040. GM, of course, closed down the Lordstown plant last year, sold it to Lordstown Motors, and instead will move ahead with plans to build a battery cell plant in Lordstown. In just a few hours, Ohio drivers can cruise around without a front license plate on their car. This new law only requires license plates on the back of most Ohio vehicles, and it goes into effect tomorrow. Now it's time for weather, so now it's time to say hi to Mark. Woo, staying warm. Hello, Mr. Powers. Uh, overnight lows in the 60s, staying comfortable and dry. Tomorrow, 84 degrees, mostly sunny. Inland areas, about 88. Hot. Sponsored by Akron Children's Hospital.